Good applications and user interfaces incorporate feedback throughout the user experience. If a user doesn't get enough feedback, they'll probably end up hating the application. We should add a feature that explicitly notifies the user that the system has responded to their input. Flask provides a really simple way to give feedback to a user. Message flashing is a feature that will prompt a message to a user immediately after a certain action has taken place, and then disappear the next time the page is requested. We can use our templates to reveal a flash message wherever and however we want from within the application. To get started, let's import Flash from our Flask module. Flashing works in Flask by using a concept called Sessions. This course doesn't go too in-depth with Sessions, but just know that Sessions are a way a server can store information across multiple web pages to create a more personalized user experience. In the bottom of our project.py file, let's first add a secret key, which Flask will use to create Sessions for our users. Normally, this should be a very secure password if our application was live on the internet. But for development purposes, let's just set our key to super secret key. To flash a message within our application, we simply use the flash function like this. To get a hold of all of the flash messages, we can use get underscore flash underscore messages, which will also work from within our templates. So from within my new menu item method, I will create a flash message right after I call session.commit. I will add the message new menu item created within the parentheses. Now, in my new menu item.html template, I will add the following code. If you're not familiar with this with construct in Python, don't worry. It's just a block that does some automatic cleanup when the block is exited that we don't really have to concern ourselves with. If you're curious about the with method in Python, I will provide some resources in the instructor notes. The get flash messages is returning an array of messages that is going to get stored in this variable called messages. We then loop through the array of messages if it's non-empty and print it out to our HTML document inside an unordered list. Now when I save my code and try making a new item, I am flashed with a confirmation message on my main menu screen. 